Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. And you get three decal sheets, one on foil backing and three on vinyl. So now, let's take a look at Hot Rod, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Hot Rod looks amazing, very true to his appearance in 1986's Transformers the Movie. Taking a closer look at the figure, you can check out some of the great paint applications. Here on the head, he's got a silver crest, light blue eyes, a gray face, silver up here on the shoulders, a yellow flame with red Autobot logo right there in the center, some orange here for the waist, orange here on the wrists, and really that's about it for paint applications. Pretty simple, but it works. Hot Rod looks Fantastic. Good paint applications here for the rims and on the forearm blasters. Hot Rod just looks awesome. Now I do want to show off his optional saw that he has. You see it's all silver right here. Tampograph number two right there. I hate that. There are decals to really improve the looks of this, so I wanted to show this off as well. So there you go, guys. One final look at Hot Rod in robot mode before and after and hot rod looks absolutely fantastic now thanks to toy hacks especially with this new black outline flame decal man that pops that looks awesome that's a vinyl decal so it molds over the chest so well so bright it just absolutely pops i love that this sticker decal set is worth it just for this new flame decal now, other decals include these translucent gold decals that go along the spoiler. One of the decal sheets that I said was a vinyl backing was actually clear, so you get these clear decals right there, and they're also right here on the crotch area. Now, these decals do wrap around for both sides. On the head, he gets new decals right there above the eyes, New decals right there for the collar and new decals for the eyes to kind of give them a more chrome blue. Now, there is a decal that's not listed on the sticker map on Toy Hacks's site, and that's a decal for his visor here, his little binoculars he used in the movie. There's a decal that makes them look more cartoon or movie accurate, so I really like the looks of that. Other decals include silver decals up here on the shoulders, right here on the waist. He gets new decals here that make it looks like make him look like he has headlights. The striped underwear that I showed off earlier, new blue decals down here on the thighs. Moving on down to the lower legs, he gets new decals right there on the knees. New decals right here with those red, orange, and yellow triangles, very reminiscent of his G1 look and blue decals right there on either side of the calves. Now, I'll bring in his buzzsaw that I showed off earlier. It gets decals as well. You get this chrome decal with like these little motion blurs, and I really like that. I think that looks cool. Very easy to apply. You just pull this section apart right here, pop the wheel out, put the decal on, snap it back into place, and there you go. So there you have Hot Rod in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Hot Rod still looks really, really good. Now, most of the paint applications for Hot Rod are here on the hood. 
You've got the yellow flame once again with the orange background. There is a Tampagraft Autobot insignia right there. You've got orange here for the headlights, a little bit of orange here. I love the rims on the wheels. Those look really good, but it's only on the front wheels. The back has no hubcaps. Nice silver here for the exhaust pipes. The canopy is a translucent blue, a dark translucent blue, but you can still see Hot Rod's head right there in the middle. So you got the clear transparent plastic here on the top and there on the sides. Now back of the vehicle is kind of a mess, but it is what it is. I do like the big spoiler. That looks really cool. So there you go, guys. There's one final look at Hot Rod in vehicle mode before and after. And once again, what a difference the black outline flames make. Taking a closer look at the vehicle mode, this just looks spectacular now. It really makes the whole front end just pop. Now, not only is the flame a decal, the entire orange section is one, two, three, four different decals. Now, the Autobot logo right there is an option. There is no logo to begin with. You put that on there if you so choose. Now, he does get new gold foil decals right there for the headlights. New decals right there. Along the side of the vehicle here for the tires, you get new decals back here to give these rear tires some rims so they, they're no longer plain black. Up here on the spoiler, you get these new blue decals. And once again, these opaque gold decals to kind of add some depth to the spoiler. The rear of the vehicle, he gets tail lights. <laughs> that looks really good. Now, right here, pay close attention. This red square decal here and these orange decals right here on either side are not listed on the sticker map on Toy Hacks' website. So big red square right there over that yellow section and the little orange rectangles extend this orange section right here. Now, of course, you also notice the transparent windows are gone and I love it. I think that looks great and a vast improvement for vehicle mode. Adds a lot of nice toy decals along with the cartoon look. So there you go, guys. One final look at Hot Rod in vehicle mode after. <laughs> toy Hacks, once again, vastly improves a figure that I thought couldn't be improved upon. Hot Rod looks fantastic now, especially with that new flame decal. I can't rave about that enough. I think that looks awesome. The new saw decal looks really good as well. I wasn't displaying Hot Rod with his saw, but I may do that now. I actually like the highlights there on the spoiler and just the little subtle decals hearkening back to his Generation 1 toy. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!